Okay, we've done the right hand, we've done the down strokes and the up strokes, and we've done them so many times, we're very familiar with them. And if we haven't, go ahead and do them a few more times and then come back to this section. But now we're going to start with the index finger of the left hand. We've been using the index finger of the right hand. Now we're going to use the left hand. Okay, the left hand of the, the, of the banjo player's technique, what we're going to do, involves pushing the strings down just behind these metal bars and they're called the frets. Now what we're going to do is we're going to count the number of frets. We're going to count up to the fifth fret. Fret number one, fret number two, number three, number four, and number five. Uh, the fifth fret, as you can see, is really close to this fifth string peg right here. Now, we're going to try to make our finger fairly flat on the underside here, the inside of the finger, so that we're going to hold down the strings one, two, three, and four. The first four strings, we're going to hold these strings down just behind the fifth fret. Okay, we're not going to hold it on top of the fret and we're not going to hold it in front of the fret. We're going to hold it just behind the fret. And if you can see a little wood of the fingerboard, this is the fingerboard here. If you, wanna, if you can see just a little bit of wood in between the fingerboard and the fret, then you're doing just fine. So what we'll do is we're going to hold the first four strings down and then we're going to do a down strum or down stroke. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. Now you're holding down the first four strings at the fifth fret, and you're using your index finger to do that. Two fingers. Okay. Now, what I also would like you to do is to count up to the seventh fret. So we're going to count up two more frets. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, we're going to hold down the first four strings just behind the seventh fret. Okay? You can hold down all five if you want, but for now, let's hold down just the first four just in case you were going to ask that question. Okay, now let's hold down the first four strings at the seventh fret and then do another downstroke. Whoa! Is this great or what? Okay, now just a little quick bit of music. Did you notice when we strummed with the right hand did you notice we had a real musical sound? It sounded really nice. Well, that's because the banjo is tuned to a chord. Uh, in this particular case, it's tuned to a G chord. Now, if you're not real familiar with music, don't worry about all of that because you don't need to know right now. It's not important. The important thing is having fun and playing with two fingers. So, when we took our index finger and we slid it down to the fifth fret and we strummed, that was a C chord. Again, don't worry about why it's that way. We'll just take it for granted for now. So when you strum down, you have a C chord. When we moved our index finger down to the seventh fret and held the first four strings, we had a D chord. Okay? Now, let me just play the G chord, the C chord, and the D chord in order, then I'll go back to the G chord. And tell me if this doesn't have a familiar feel to it. It sort of sounds when you start on G that you're home. You're at the beginning of something. When you play the C, you're wandering off somewhere. When you hit the D, you're further and further, but you're pending this decision to go back to G. Okay, 
just for some practice, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the downstroke and the upstroke together. And then we're going to switch. We're going to move our finger up to the fifth fret and play the C. We're going to continue the downstroke and the upstroke. And then after we do that, we're going to slide our finger up to the D or the first four strings fretted at the seventh fret. And we're going to do a downstroke and an upstroke. So do this with me. We're going to go through it very slowly. Downstroke, upstroke, downstroke, upstroke. Play the C. Downstroke, upstroke, downstroke, upstroke. Play the D. Downstroke, upstroke, downstroke, upstroke. Downstroke, upstroke, downstroke, upstroke. This is like magic. Okay, now what I'll do, I'm going to do the same thing again, but I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing. Watch my left hand. The right hand you don't need to watch because we're doing exactly the same thing every time. We're going down, up, down, up. So just watch my left hand. We're going to, in this case, go from the G chord to the C chord to the D chord, and then back to the G. We'll go through this a few times. Again, take your time, stop the DVD, go back and review what we just did, and then come back to this point and start again if you like. All right, here we go. Oh, it's nice being a musician sometimes. Here we go. C chord, move up to the D chord, down to the G chord. Let's do the G again. Let's do the C. Let's do the D. G. Okay, we're there. Now, we've done the right hand and we've done the left hand. The next thing we're going to do is put them together and we're going to do some songs.